Hey everyone, I just want to take a minute and explain what you picked up in our bridge bag this weekend. Um, so each bag looks like this. If you have more than one child, each additional child got an extra bag that we'll go through in a second. So you take out your, your bridge bag. We've got our sheet with everything in it. Um, the first is a packet for the road to Emmaus. Um, so that's the story, one of the resurrection accounts of Jesus appearing to the disciples um, on the two disciples on the path to Emmaus. Um, and we have two different versions of the story in here. One is uh, more for younger kids with pictures. And then the orange sheet is um, a little bit older version. Um, for the, the older kids that you can use. And then just a fun Road to Emmaus game. Um, and then there is a Road to Emmaus craft. Um, if you, you, so you can color these two sheets of paper. Um, and then you cut out on this one. You cut out along the perforated line on this sheet. You cut out along the square and then around the people. So then eventually you will have two parts. One with the people and one with this. And, and you're able to stick the people in inside that perforated line. And then the disciples of Jesus are journeying on the way to Emmaus. And then they're heading back to Jerusalem. Um, maze and word search. Can you recognize these pictures? Because the disciples on the way to Emmaus didn't recognize Jesus at first. It wasn't until the breaking of the bread that they recognized him. Um, and then kind of the most important piece of paper in there are these discussion questions for um, parents and kids to have together about where we can see Jesus in our world and where we can be Jesus for other people in our world and how we can help, um, you know, spread Jesus' message around to everyone. Then we have the He is Risen cross. So again, this one you can color and then you cut out along the outer edge of the circle and then underneath you, the cross you cut out the perforated lines so that afterwards it looks like this and you're able to then um, bend it back in a circle and then tape the backside so that you will have um, a He is Risen cross that you can decorate your house with. Because as we see in our next image, Easter isn't just a one day celebration or a one week celebration. It's 50 days. Um, so this cross marks the 50 days of Easter um, and counts down to Pentecost Sunday, which is the last day of the Easter season, which is also the birthday of the church. My favorite thing in the bridge bag is the recipe for the resurrection rolls, the empty tomb rolls. Um, you know, maybe pick a, a week and morning that you can make them on a Saturday or Sunday together um, and see what happens when you put them in the oven and where they, how they come out. And then finally, um, the last paper in there is just a flyer for our Vacation Bible School. Um, it is for children age four through our current fourth graders. So students will be fifth grade um, next year. And then our current fifth graders through um, high school students can sign up to be counselors as well. So there's a QR code that you can go and get more information. Um, it's June 24th through the 28th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. If you have any questions about that, just let me know. And then finally, um, each student should have received a um, Jesus Gives Us New Life flower pot. So you can separate the two pieces of the flower pot, pull the piece of paper out, 
decorate it, color it, however, design it, however you want. And then you just push it back together and it slides right in there. Um, and then you have the dirt and the marigold seeds and a little explanation about how through Jesus is baptism, through our baptism and Jesus' death and resurrection, we can have new life in Christ and hopefully spend forever within in heaven. So plant your seeds um, and then let us know how they come out. Um, feel free to send us some pictures. Um, we want to see those beautiful flowers. There is a small yellow sheet in there as well that um, explains, um, you know, kind of some best practices for growing some marigold flowers. So we're sorry we couldn't be together in person this month, but hopefully this will allow you to take these lessons home with you. Um, the last thing I just forgot to mention is in the blue full, um, bag, it's just extra copies of everything for extra children. Um, so this is that yellow sheet I was talking about that has the directions for the marigolds. Um, but this just gives you an extra Emmaus craft, an extra word search, um, all of those things, an extra resurrection cross. So that way families with multiple kids, um, the things you only need one of, like the story and the games and the flyers and stuff, you have one of. But the things that you need multiple of, you have those. Um, if you weren't able to join us this weekend for Mass to pick up your bridge bag, um, let us know and we can make ourselves available this week so you can pick up a, a bridge bag and experience the, the joy and the, the resurrection and just the, the awesomeness of, of spring and, and new life. Hopefully pretty soon the weather will cooperate and act like it is spring out there. Um, for those of you that are in First Communion prep, after April vacation, we have um, our second set of First Communion workshops, and then First Communions are right around the corner in May. I hope you all have a happy and blessed Easter, and we'll see you all soon. God bless.